And I'm in the kitchen now cooking with the machine shed. New Year's Eve is about moving and shaking, and some people like to graze on appetizers like Tiff all night long instead of a big meal. So Chef Kurt Wagner is here with the machine shed to make a very tasty app, and it involves two things that we love in Wisconsin, bacon and cheese. It's a surefire hit with those two ingredients, right? That's exactly right, and it's great for Packer games. You can just chase it down with an icy cold beer, and, and you're right there. Set to go. Okay, so what is this called? Uh, these are just bacon cheese treats. Uh, you can rename it if you wish. Uh, it was just something that we kind of came up with goofing around, and it got very popular, so we've just been hanging on to it, and it's kind of morphed over the years a little bit. But Well, and I think hot appetizers are nice at a party, because a lot of people do the chips and the dip and the veggie platter, whatever it is, but to have something that's hot that comes out of the oven that you could serve people is really nice. Oh, it is, and especially now with the advent of uh, warming trays that you can get for, for a very limited amount of money, you, you can put things out and they'll stay nice and toasty, you know, as the day goes on, people can just graze. And this is pretty easy, right? It's very easy. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Tell us how we make this. Okay, well, we're going to start. Uh, I've got my crumble bacon is already in my bowl, okay. uh, and that's about one pound. Mm -hmm. uh, then we're going to add about uh, two tablespoons of prepared mustard. Okay. Uh, and you can use whatever your favorite mustard is, actually. Oh, and that's nice. kind of what I said about you know morphing over the years. If you've got one in the fridge that you really like and you like putting it on your sandwiches, you'll love it in this. Perfect. And we're going to add some barbecue sauce. Another, oh. Another great thing that we want to have mm -hmm. uh, in here. And then we've got our mayonnaise. Okay. I'll put that in there. Let's so you add a little mayonnaise. Okay, so Actually, see this is back. easy. You just kind of mix it up in a bowl. It looks like you're going to put it over either like toasted bread or just bread and then bake it in the oven. That's exactly right. You can put it over uh, if you get like little cocktail bread or uh, any kind of hearty bread. Pumpernickel would work great. Uh, rice will work great. Okay. Uh, it really, again, it's, it's whatever your favorite is. Okay. Last thing we're going to add in now is we're going to add in our cheese. Okay. We're going to add all this glorious cheese in. It looks like See? a lot, but when it cooks down. The name Bacon Cheese Bites or Bacon Cheese Treats. It got the name for a reason. So yes. you're just basically blending that all up then, That's huh? exactly right. All we're going to do is we're going to take this and we're going to mix it. And you have to mix it pretty thoroughly. You don't want it falling apart. It should be kind of... It should hold together almost like you were going to roll it and uh, do cheese balls or something. Like okay, that. okay. Mm -hmm. And this recipe is on our website, themorningblend.com. You can just look for bacon cheese treats and make it for your holiday party or, like you said, great for a football um, afternoon as well. That's right. And then when it gets to this consistency, if you can kind of, I don't know if we can get a shot in here. Yeah. You can kind of see. Now you would just take this and you're just going to press it on a piece of bread. Okay. Uh, and what I did is I used whole pieces of bread. I put this on first uh, and then I cut it into the little squares uh, and then I set it on the tray. Cause okay, because really you can see up. here it, it's cut into to squares and here's a beautiful loaf of bread that you probably sell at your gift shop. Uh, you, you can buy those there. We actually use that for our sandwiches at the restaurant. That's so. fantastic. And what kind of bread is this? That's a marble rye. Oh, it looks delicious. A real thick, nice thick cut, it's about too. about three-quarter inch thick cut. Yeah. Okay. So then do you, look at that bread. Isn't that fantastic? And then is this the way you serve them? Uh, well, what we would do is we would take a little bit of our barbecue sauce. Okay. And we're just going to go right across. And nice. do a real nice little... Little Look trail. at that. Okay, I'll take a little bite of this. Why don't you talk about some of the things that you brought from your gift shop? Well, we brought along a lot of Packer gear. I, I can't imagine why we're bringing Packer gear along, but uh, it's one of those things that we have. We have mm. from all different sizes. We have uh, for, for the little ones. We've got little tiny ones for training camp. Uh, we've got serving platters, which would be great to put this appetizer on. Mm -hmm. We've got coffee cup for the morning after and a shot glass and a beer pitcher for the night of. <laughs> uh, so so we're, we're all pretty well set. I like that. These are actually delicious. And they're so simple. I mean, it took uh, just a few just a few minutes to throw it together, and you can do that, and people will be impressed. What um, temperature would you bake these at? Uh, bake them at 350 for about uh, five to seven minutes. Kind of depends on your oven. Great, and you could pe you could prepare them, I think, ahead of time too, or for sure that you absolutely can. And get it, you, put you them in the oven. It, you can have it all set on a cookie sheet, and you just cover with a piece of plastic wrap, put it in the fridge, and then when everybody gets there, just pop it in for seven minutes, and you're the hero. Exactly, because you got a delicious appetizer that's hot. You can serve to all your guests and just keep making them as long as people are eating them. Here is the information so that you can visit one of the two machine shed locations, one in Pewaukee, the other one is in Appleton at Highway 41 and College Avenue. There are phone numbers on your screen to call for reservations. You can also visit them online at machineshed.com and the recipe for the cheese bacon treats is on our website too, themorningblend.com. Great to see you and Happy New Year to you. Happy New Year to you. It's that time. Thank you so much, Kurt. Thank you.